This is Ethan Port from Tipco Software. In this movie, we continue investigating how members discover each other when they connect to a metaspace. We already have an AS agent process started, and it is currently the metaspace manager listening on port 50,000, which is the default listening port. Now, add another metaspace member. To do this, open a new command window. In this example, we use the same discovery URL value, tcp colon slash slash colon 50,000, used by the AS admin process in the previous movie. We do not specify a listener URL, so this AS agent process will use the next available TCP port after 50,000. In later movies, you'll learn how to change these default values, but in this example, we expect AS agent to listen on TCP port 50,001. Like before, add the Windows firewall exception to allow access for this AS agent process. In this example, AS agent needs permission for the TCP ports 50,000 and 50,001. The console messages show you the discovery process when AS agent connects to the MS metaspace. First, the metaspace manager on port 50,000, AS admin, discovers the AS agent. The AS admin console message shows that it discovered the AS agent process listening on TCP port 50,001. The metaspace manager exchanges the entire set of listener URLs with each metaspace member and updates members when new members connect to the metaspace and when members leave the metaspace. Now return to the AS admin window and type the administrative command show members. Now you see both members listed. This verifies that the two metaspace members were able to discover each other, and both processes are able to join the MS metaspace. Notice that the first process, AS admin, took on the manager role, and the second, AS agent, joined in a member role. If we had reversed the order that we started up these applications, then AS agent would have been the manager. And also, by the way, the manager role is not used to actually exchange data between what are called seeders, which are the, the stores of the data. That's done peer-to-peer -peer directly between all the members in the space as needed. So we've verified the network and firewall are configured correctly on this host to allow Active Spaces members to discover each other and communicate. This verifies that our installation is working correctly. The next movie shows you the simple steps to upgrade TIBCO Active Spaces software. You can also find other training materials at activespaces.tibco.com, and you can read and post with other TIBCO users at tibcommunity.com. Thanks for watching. <music> <laughs>